So today we're going to explore the Medina style by Ellen Villa, an ivory gray mix. That's what I'm wearing here. And then we are going to take a look at Lena in champagne mix. I have that one coming up. Remember, you can find these at Wig Studio One. If you drop below the video and expand the description box, you'll be able to find a link titled Ellen Villa's Lena or Ellen Villa's Modina. If you click on the link, it'll take you out to the site where you can see all of the colors and the pricing. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. These two short styles from Ellen Villa, I really think you're gonna love them. They're classic in their design. They have a lot of realistic features. They're cool, they're comfortable, perfect for every day and very lightweight. So let's first chat about Medina. So it's a short pixie cut, as you can see, lots of layers, some soft volume and wave throughout the style. And it has some amazing cap features. This one actually has a temple to temple extended lace front and full single monofilament top. We'll get up close on those features in just a moment. So I think the spirited energy of this one just comes from this layering. So right away is about a four and a half inch bang. Now I have it swept up and over to expose these exquisite lace features, but you could certainly wear it down. So a four and a half inch bang it's just going to feather right over the eyebrow and out of the eyes. It's really easy to wear, and that's why I say it's a nice high energy everyday wig style. Right in the back is about a four and a half inch crown. You do have some waviness in the back and some volume. And then that's going to taper down into a two inch nape. I find that nape is ample to cover my own hairline very well. So the weight on this one is about two ounces. It's just, it feels undetectable on my head. So it does have that lace front full monofilament top. Um, however, there is a lot of permatease on this style. So what you're gonna find is that permatease will begin all around that monofilament area. That's gonna give it that soft, sustainable volume. It's really a set it and forget it type of wig style, just perfect for that everyday wearer. So you can use your hands to manipulate this fiber very easily. And this fiber is more on the coarse side. And what that's going to do is allow you to manipulate the style. It's very impressionable. So whatever you decide to do with it, without styling product, it's just gonna stay that way. You see how I just gently did an up and over there? I could probably do a cartwheel, I like to say. Not that I actually can. I, I'm pretty sure I can, but I haven't tried that lately. <laughs> um, it would stay in place for you. So it's just that easy and that simple. And just be aware that this is regular synthetic fiber. It is not heat friendly. Let's dive into this color real quick, a ivory gray mix. The color code on this one is a 14 and a 101. So that 101 is more of a toned platinum. They call it a pearl platinum, but again, it just looks like it's been toned down all over and that's what gives it that grayish effect. There's really no, technically no gray in this, but it does come across that way just because it's so super cool and toned down. And then you have a deep ash blonde as the base color here. So that combination really gives you a beautiful gray or silver effect without being too mature or gray and silver. It's a great transition color from blonde or light brown as well. And it is not rooted, so a lot of you will really appreciate that. What you need to know about these colors is that there's, I think I counted six different variations of gray on this style. So you have a variety of colors. Go below and click on the link. It'll show you all the colors, but do check them out because there really is something for everyone, especially if you like and enjoy wearing certain gray shades. Now let's take the time to get up close on the lace features. Beautifully done. So here's a temple to temple lace front. It seems to be a very fine knotting process there. And then you're gonna find that you can part it anywhere you like along this monofilament top. Now, because this is more of a thicker density and a coarse fiber, it's more difficult, I think, to see down into the illusion of scalp, but it is an extremely natural look. I think what I'm enjoying the most about this little pixie cut is the versatility, the very extreme natural look, but also the versatility in the styling and the ease of styling without having to have product or much training at all. So now it's time to put up a picture of the inside of the cap and describe the fit for you. So you notice this lace front, it does run temple to temple, but it does not extend back into the ear tab. However, I do find that the seams are very nicely obscured, at least here on this color it is. 
And then you'll see a seam that adjoins the lace features with that single monofilament top. Now, all around that monofilament top, you'll see a little bit of a crescent look there. There's a lot of permatease in that area. In fact, uh, everywhere on this cap, there's permities except for right there on the top of the monofilament and the lace front. But that's to give it that nice, soft, sustainable volume. Open wefted sides and back, and you'll find Velcro adjusters at the nape. I do describe this as being quite average in its fit. I did have to cinch it in to accommodate a petite average, average circumference. Most of the styles in this Monix collection, to me, and in my experience, have been quite average. So they do accommodate that average circumference very nicely and could easily be cinched in for a petite average or let out all the way for an average large. Okay, so what's up next? This is the Lena style by Ellen Villa in that Modix collection. And Lena today is in champagne mix. Uh, now they do have two sizes available on Lena. They have a regular size and a small. Now this one is the regular size. I did try it on and it does fit very similarly to this Medina, very average, and I did have to cinch it in to accommodate a petite average circumference. So even though I've had this out of the box already, just to inspect it and make sure I had all of my notes ready for this review, there's really not a whole lot here that is different. Um, I just took it out of the box. Now I wanna shake it out a little bit. This is a heavily textured pixie cut and it's razored all over. I've just never seen so many layers. And the layers are kind of, they have a, a, a wave to them. It's almost a, a kinky wave. Now this is an unrooted blonde and it's really a blend of some cool and some warm tones. Although I really feel this is a very neutral tone whereas this one is very cool. It's not rooted. So it's a 22, a 25, and a 26. So a nice light ash blonde color. You're gonna see a little bit of a pale gold blonde in there, um, and then some neutral blonde as well. So let's go ahead and apply Lena. This is Lena in Champagne Mix. You can see this choppy texture all over, highly texturized on the ends. There's just layers upon layers, and it gives you that spiky, edgy look. But you know what? It looks perfect every time. All you have to do is run your fingers through the style and you're out the door. It's such an easy style to wear. And again, it's a very high energy, high spirited style with its ease of wear. This one has an extended lace front, but then it's open top, uh, sides and back. The measurements on this one, if you like a bang, you're gonna love this because it's two and a half inches. That means you can scoop it straight down and most of you will be able to wear it comfortably and keep it out of the eyes that way. It's just above the eyebrow. Uh, but what, what I love about it is the versatility of that lace front because we can just take it up and over and expose that lace front all the way to the ear tab. And that's gonna give you a very chic look a very done up look. That's the thing about this style. It just seems to me, and the other one as well, um, it just seems to me that each time you put it on, it's so easy to look really done, really classy when you're going out the door for any occasion. There's a three inch crown and a 2.25 inch nape. Again, the, ape, the nape seems very ample to cover up the hairline. It stays put, it curls around the ear for wonderful coverage. I love the beefiness of the ear tabs on these, uh, and they do bring that fiber forward off of the ear tab for extra good coverage there. And Lena also is made from that regular synthetic, so it is not heat friendly. Even though it has a really nice light density to it because of all of this layering, it is a coarse texture. As you can imagine, if you're razoring all over to achieve this texture, uh, on the ends, it's going to really rough up that fiber a little bit. So the beauty of having a more coarse texture is that you're able to manipulate the fiber into a style that you want and it'll generally hold there without using any product. So it's really easy to get an up and over look. Uh, again, we can pull it down. So much versatility. You've got some soft volume all the way around. So this profile that you see is going to be sustainable. It does have quite a bit of permatease, okay? All over this cap, starting from behind the lace front, you're going to see a lot of permatease on the top, sides, and back. 
So this only weighs about two ounces. It's really lightweight. And again, I was able to find a nice secure adjustment and it feels, uh, it feels really lightweight on the head. Let's take a look at the inside of the cap. So here you're gonna see an extended lace front. It extends beyond the temple back into the ear tab. It's fairly shallow lace front. And then uh, you're gonna go through the open wefts on the top, sides, and back, again, featuring Velcro adjusters. And it's a really, really well done cap. And again, the fit is going to be average, and I did have to cinch it in a bit to accommodate a petite average circumference. I feel like it could be adjusted to petite average or up to average large. Getting up close on this lace front, all of the seams are obscured. You can take it away from the face beyond the temple. It's gonna give you so much versatility. And you can already see just how coarse those layers are. It's just a super wiry shag style. Both of these pixies today are going to be glasses friendly. There's not too much volume or permatis right at the ear tab. Perfect for the office for every day or just the occasional spectacle wearing. They should be comfortable and secure. Let's go ahead and I'll do a little bit of styling, just moving this hair around on both of these styles. Everybody have a great day. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon right back here at Taz's Wig Closet.